I need your guys' help. We're filming the next Police Cars episode with Davey PD, and we're stuck between these two awesome rides. Check them out. So I need you guys to put it down in the comments below. Which vehicle is going to be featured? Is it going to be the Jeep Gladiator? Oh, take a look at this one. Oh, yeah. Or is it going to be the Ford Explorer with all the traffic equipment, LPRs, low jacks? Let me know down in the comments below. Are we going Jeep or are we going Explorer? Motion DSP has been supporting the law enforcement industry for over 15 years with their robust suite of video and audio redaction and enhancement software. Forensic enhancement software allows users to quickly process any video file format using patented super resolution algorithms and enhancement filters. Get forensically valid evidence from low quality video in minutes instead of hours. In just three easy steps, import, enhance, and export. Spotlight was built specifically for redaction and was designed to work with video from any camera source. Using the motion DSP algorithms and object tracking technology, Spotlight automates the process of blurring faces and other identifiable information, saving users countless hours compared to the manual frame by frame redaction. And I can tell you, it takes forever to blur faces. All right, so here's the free stuff. Motion DSP is offering the Not Squad members a special offer of a free one week trial and 10% off any annual subscription with code NOD10. That's NOD10. If you'd like to know more about this awesome software that streamlines your workflow, click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to the video. Welcome back to another episode of Police Cars. Yes, I talk when I step. On this series, we go around the nation touring police agencies' vehicles, boats, planes. If it goes room, we feature it here on this channel. Today, we're gonna to be featuring Davey Police Department. And if you were paying attention to my socials, you would have saw that I put out a vote. There's two vehicles that were up for vote to see who's gonna be featured in this first episode of Police Cars. The first one was the Jeep Gladiator. And that was up against the Ford Explorer traffic unit. So let's see who the audience decided who's gonna be featured in this very first episode of Police Cars with the Davy Police Department. Drum roll, police. And the audience decided. What's up, man? Nick. How you doing? Nice Officer to meet Tavares, you. nice to meet you. Officer Tavares, you want to introduce yourself to the Nod Squad? Sure, man. I'm Officer Tavares from the Town of Davy Police Department. I've been here about two years now, and I'm currently assigned to University School at NSU campus All right. as a school resource officer. And you guys have a big uh, university area here. Huge in, university in area. Yeah. yeah. So we'll talk about that later. You're the winner. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> you apparently, did it. right? <laughs> right? That's right. So we're going to be touring your vehicle, the Ford Explorer right. LPR. 2020. Uh, for now, why don't you just run us down the outside and give us a quick overview of what we're looking at. Sounds good, my man. So what we have here is a 2020 Ford Explorer hybrid, all-wheel drive with a police interceptor package. The town of Davie is starting to do a green initiative. So going with the hybrid model was one of the key components of their green initiative. So starting at the very front, you got the push bar. It's got the police equipment mounted to it, which is the wheel and sirens and lights. You get a sleek front design that Ford came out with, which I thought was pretty sharp this model year. All right, so moving over to the side, like I mentioned before, it has the police interceptor package. That comes with a stiffer suspension. It also has the black wheels with the chrome hubcaps. Come over this way, and you have the Town of Davy badge. Then you have the gold and black lettering, right? It's got that modern feel, but also still has that old school country feel to it. That The Town of Davy, like, that's what they really instill in us and throughout the town. You got your spotlight over here your light bar right there. Underneath here, we also have a light bar. We'll get to that later on when we do the light. We have a three camera LPR system that can get you from 360 point of view around the car. You've got four antennas for the low jack system. As you notice throughout the vehicle, you also have the unit number, right? That identifies which unit you're driving or who it is in the car. We're gonna come to the back now. We got lights on either side of the license plate. We've got the decals again, the standard black and gold for Davey. At Twitter, in case you guys want to look us up and 
see us on social media and see what's going on in the town. Down below we have the hitch, which we can move trailers and the fixed LPR systems throughout the town. Now on the other side, it's identical to the side we just went over. Identical. Identical. My cousin Vinny. You got it. <laughs> so typically at this point of the episode, we jump in and go for a ride along and showcase different areas in your town. So you got some places in mind? Definitely got some places in mind. All right, shotgun. <laughs> So I noticed when we first linked up, you mentioned that you got on the department two years ago. Right. So the old rookie. So I'm this old isn't rookie. your your first career, huh? It is not. No. I worked for uh, AT and T for 22 years before this. Started wow. at 19 years old. How old were you when you went through the academy? I was 42. 42, man, and that's that's a big question that I get all the time online. In my late 30s. Is it too late for me to join the academy? How was it for you when you went through the academy? I kept myself in good shape, luckily. So when I did the transition, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. And I, when you're older age and you go through the academy and you go through all the training and everything else, you can kind of mentor the younger ones while you go through, right? Because you have a lot of early 20s, late 20s, you know? Right. That's usually the average age. They kind of look up to you. They see you doing it, and if you could do it, they can do it. How is it coming on and dealing with some people's issues on, while you're out on the street? I think being um, older, older. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 40 is the new 20, uh, baby. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> it's all about how you feel now, you know, yeah. how old you are, right? Age is just another number. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, when you're older, it definitely gives me an advantage, I feel, or anyone an advantage. You've been through life. You've been through a lot more than someone who's in their early 20s and, you know, still living at mom and dad's house. But... <clears throat> For me, yeah, it's all about how you talk to people, what you've experienced in life, what how you want to be treated, and you know, if you were in that situation, because you've probably been in some of these situations before. So definitely that's given me a major advantage of coming in. And even though I'm a rookie, I still feel a lot more comfortable than some of these guys I would I would imagine coming in not having a life experience. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need you to step outside the vehicle so I can get some B-roll. Done with everything? Am I allowed to come back in my car yet? Yeah, you can come back in your car now. I appreciate it. All right, that. all good. So, run us down. Here we go. First off, we got our spotlight. He's coming handy for traffic stops. You want to go ahead and blind the guy, turn them on, try to get the side view mirror, the rear view mirror, try to make sure they can't see you approaching the vehicle. Yes, guys, I've got pink handcuffs. That's my breast cancer awareness handcuffs. But those pink handcuffs are for the bad guys who want to do something bad in October. So. Moving on, we got low jack. This patrol car is equipped with low jack. So remember those four antennas I showed you earlier? That's connected to the system, which actually receives a signal so I can find out if there's a stolen vehicle around me or not. If I get into a certain distance within a stolen vehicle, it'll start making a high-pitched beeping noise to alert me and to actually give me a direction of where that vehicle may be. Laptop or a laptop holder. So this laptop, of course, for our reports and everything else we do on our daily functions. It's also connected to those three cameras we showed you guys earlier. So those three cameras will constantly survey where I'm driving and see if there's any stolen vehicles or stolen tags around me. Also, let me know where someone drives by me, has an expired tag, suspended license, and all that good stuff. So as you start scanning some license plates, you'll hear a beeping noise. If it's a stolen tag, you'll hear a, a loud alert telling me it's a stolen tag or stolen vehicle. Below the computer, we have our printer, right? So that's how we print our citations and some documents. Then we move on to our, I, I prefer to keep my battery charger here, right in one of the cup holders, right? Easy access in case my battery dies. Got a PA system. My flashlight charger, right, for my extra flashlight. Got some DC sockets and USB ports. Notice here, this the position of my seat. I'm 6'2", so I'm a little bit taller than most officers. I wouldn't be comfortable if I didn't have a single cage. So if you notice, I have more room here. The single cage is only back behind this. Everything there is more for storage and for more leg room and headroom for me. So here's the rifle rack. Normally my rifle would be here, but right now it's being serviced. And uh, now I'm gonna jump out and show you the half cage. All right, so in the back, this is considered a half cage, right? And the reason why it's called a half cage, 
We got bars here. Make sure he doesn't kick out the window. Okay. We got our hard plexiglass, steel cage, plexiglass over here and in the back. We also have that plexiglass in the middle. That's what considers it a half cage, right? We've got the seatbelt, which we buckle here. We put our person in custody right there. And when they come in, so we don't have to reach across to grab it and pull it in. We unlatch it there, latch it, and adjust it, right? And you got the standard plastic seats I see there. Yes, and that's because you got people who will throw up, um, spit, and they may have some stuff on them already or might do something in there that, you know. It's a little bit of nastiness yeah, happens back yeah, there. I gotta explain it. All right, the All gear right. in the rear. The gear in the rear. So, got my AED. I got my file container, how's all my various documents for certain types of call I have to go to. My extra vest, my flares are back there along my reflective vest. So this is technically a hatchback, but by installing this, it makes it a trunk so I can secure all my gear. I've been to a lot of cool spots, but this is definitely one of the coolest spots for a light show. Where are we at right now? You can't visit Davey without visiting the Bergeron Rodeo Grounds. Oh, so we're at the Rodeo Grounds. It's the heart of Davey. This is where it all started. All right, well, I like it, man. They host rodeos, concerts, and all sorts of events. Rightfully so. We're here for the grand finale, the light show. Yes, sir. We're going to start right here at the lower tier. So we got the push bar in the front, like I showed you before. Look at the lights flashing all over, the left, right, and the front. And that's to make us highly visible when we're going through intersections. Also on the push bar, you'll see that white light on the side when we open our door to illuminate what we're about to see when we get out of the car. All right, so right here we also have a little Easter egg on the turn signal. That also flashes red and blue. Come on over this way, we have the side skirts with also the red and blue flashing lights. That's also so we can be highly visible when we go through the intersection. The way the light bar on the top right here. That light bar also turns white when you open the side door. Coming to the back, we have lights integrated in our tail lights once again. We got a light bar inside the rear windows, so we're highly visible in the back. And on this side, it's identical. I see what you did there. Little callback to my cousin Vinny. That's right, baby. All right, let me show you guys how these light systems work. So one of the main ones we use is a toggle switch right here. Toggle it one time, switch it over to the right one time. It gives you the back lights. This way, you're more visible from behind, so no cars hit you from behind, right? Toggle two, all lights go on. This is when you're running to a call. You, it's not necessarily code three at this point. Toggle three, code. All lights, sirens are going. This is when you got a hot call you have to get to. Three. All right, guys, that's it for the light show. Hey, man, thank you so much for having us with this awesome Ford Explorer hybrid with all the traffic gear, the LPRs, very cool technology that helps you out there with traffic. And guys, we're gonna be doing a challenge coin giveaway over on Davey PD's Instagram account. So go over there, look for the trailer to this video. We're gonna collaborate on the post. Leave a comment down below saying done or awesome video and you'll be eligible to win one of those challenge coins. Also stay tuned for the next Police Cars episode where we're gonna be featuring the Jeep Gladiator and I'm gonna see if I still got what it takes to pass the physical agility test. Check this out. Have a good time. You look like an XL, huh? You got the big guns. Here you go. I'll see you when I see you. I don't see you. Oh, he's good. Then I'll see you.